Okay guys, so I just had my first test of the walk snail system and pretty disappointed actually. This is basically unflyable for me. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a test of my HD Zero system. I set up my goggles here with some pretty basic antennas. I have a couple Omnis on top and a couple patches. That way I'm not getting like crazy advantage from some high gain helical antennas like I usually run. And we're going to just go ahead and do the same loop and we're going to do a comparison and see what they look like. So anyway, let's go ahead and get in the air and check it out. Now, right off the bat, I will say the image quality is not as good on the HD Zero. Um, but image quality only matters when you have good signal and you can actually see the image quality and not have this blurry mess. So today we have a much nicer day. Uh, we did some tests yesterday, but it was really cloudy. Horrible conditions, honestly, for cameras with these tiny sensors. But let's talk about the signal image breakup and general feel of the video signal. And the HD Zero definitely feels much more locked in. It's just much more smooth and consistent, which is really, really nice. But more importantly, the breakup. With the HD Zero setup that I have currently right now, I was getting little bits of sparkles and some flashes, some static, but the image itself remains the same resolution and the same quality, and flying through that static's pretty easy. With the walk snail system, I was getting a lot of that like kind of blurry craziness, and it's like, bleh, it turns into this jello goo. And I tried the focus mode, and I tried the focus mode off, so I'm going to have to work on an antenna setup for the walk snail system. But the way that it's sitting right now, this is basically unflyable for me. The blurry breakup is really distracting, especially when you're flying through trees and branches. Uh, it's really just like, is this a branch? Is this jello? What am I flying through? It's a little ridiculous. I would easily choose my HD Zero system hands down every time. Uh, the only real huge advantage currently with the walk snail system is when you're flying super slow and super close. That image is really crispy and does look really nice. And I really think we can make the system much better than it comes stock because right now it's pretty much trash. Okay guys, so I just did a little bit of freestyle and honestly the latency feels perfectly fine. It didn't bother me. I'm not like a crazy racer or latency expert anyway. So the walk snail system does have huge potential. The image looks really, really good when it's working properly, but I think we just need to get some much better antennas. So stay tuned for the next episode because I'm gonna be working on some high gain alterations. We're gonna be swapping out the RP SMAs for proper SMAs and using some helicals, some patches, and some different types of antennas to see what sort of setup we can get that allows me to fly back here and maybe beyond. So stay tuned for that, guys. See you next time.